Hello everyone, welcome to your favorite YouTube channel, my project ideas. Today we are going to make a Django project on the topic educational platform. So basically we are going to build an educational platform website using Django. Let's have a look at the requirements. VS code or Visual Studio code or any other text editor can be used, but I have used your VS code. Secondly, you require an operating system. It depends on you which operating system you are going to use. I have used your Windows 10 operating system. You can use Linux, Unix. You can use iOS as well. Third is tools and tech used. So these are the tools or tech. We have used your HTML, which is basically used to define the page layout. CSS, the design part. JavaScript, the validation tasks like uh, the buttons, the functionalities, the animations have been developed by JavaScript. Business logic implemented in Python. The database is SQLite. And uh, the project has been developed over the Django framework. I hope the requirements is clear. Now we'll move to the code and I'll show you how does the code just look like. Okay, we have first we have the init.python. Here we have set the default app configuration to be apps.corecode.apps.corecode configuration. Then we have apps.python and apps.python. What you have done is from django.apps we have imported app configuration class core code configuration and uh, we have taken the parameter as app configuration name is equal to apps.core code def ready and the parameter is self import apps.core code.singles then the context context process.python here from the models we have imported ac academic session academic term and site configuration then the site defaults has been defined and the current session is set to academic session dot objects dot get and the current is true. Then the term is set as academic term dot objects dot get current is equal to true. The values are set as site configuration of objects. The contexts are current session is current session of name. The object is name. Current term is current term dot name. Then we are going to run a for loop. For val in vals, the context of val key is set to val dot value. Then we return the context. Now let's move to forms dot python. Here from Django we import forms. Then from Django dot forms we import the model form and the model forms that factory. Then from the models we import academic session, academic terms, site configuration, student class, and subject. Then the site configuration form has certain fields like the key value pair. Basically, you work with objects, then you work with the key value pairs. Then we have the academic session form and we took this model form as the parameter and the prefix used is academic session. Then the class meta is there and the model is academic session again and the fields are name and current. Then the academic term form, we take the uh, parameter as the model form and the prefix is the academic term. Then we have the subject where the fields are name. Then we have the class where the field is name. Then we have the current session form where we are going to take the parameters forms dot form. Current session is forms dot model choice field and query set is academic session dot objects dot all. The, then the help text we have the referen reference link. Then the current term will be forms dot model choice field and the query set is academic term dot objects. Then again the help text is required. This is a middleware. Again for models we import the academic session and academic term. Then we have a class called site wide configuration and uh, here we have the init function where we get the parameters as self and get response. Then uh, the self dot get response is initialized to get response. Then we have a function called call where we take two parameters that is self and request. Current session is set to academic session dot objects dot get where current is true and current term we get is academic term dot objects dot get and current is true again. Then request dot current session is equal to current session and request dot current term is equal to current term. Then response is equal to self dot get response and in the parameter you have request. Then you return the response. In models dot python, you have to create your models here as per the name suggest. Then what do you need to do? From django.db you import the models. Then you have a site configuration here. The key and value pair has set. The key is set to the slug field 
and the value is set with the character field. Then we have a class called academic session and the name and current is set to character field and the boolean field. Then we have a class called meta where the ordering is set as minus name. Do you know what's minus? That means uh, the decreasing order. Setting by the ordering is done by the decreasing order. Okay. Then we have the class of academic term, the class of subject, the class of student class, whatever is required in a basically in an educational platform. Then signals.python. In the signals.python, we import the posts, we import the receiver from the signals and from the dispatch accordingly. Then we have imported academic session and academic term. And uh, from the receiver, we have the uh, so if this condition is true then set all the academic sessions to false this if this is true then change all the academic terms to false okay then urls dot python in the urls dot python basically all the patterns of the urls the path of certain urls urls is like uniform resource locator universal resource locator only right so basically here you you need to write the path only certain views are there okay like the create view delete view list view update view up, uh, then your uh, uh, what you can call the subject create term create class create current session and term like that all the views are there okay i have a small catch to tell you here like you may be very confused that why are we using certain components we can write all these lines in the same file, like you, we used to do in C++, we used to do in C, because that they were small projects. These are your full stack development, where you have front end, you have back end, you have the database as well. So, basically, when you are writing the code, it's easy for you if the large amount of code, large number of lines are divided into small, small lines, because your interest gets built up. So basically that is a catch. Next, if some other person is going to read your code, debug your code, or need to continue from where you have left, it's easy for that person to like go through small, small modules rather than a big chunk of code at once. That's it. Got it right? Now let's have views.python. The views.python messages, login required, login required, fixing, success message, the template view, everything is imported here. Then from forms, see, forms is a file from, it's a module. From forms, you have imported this. Then from models, model is a model. Module is a model. Then from there, we have imported this. Then from the class index view, with the template name is index.html, index.html is another file. So basically what we do is we transfer the chunk of code, but we have written there, we import it here. So that functionality is also can be used here. Got it right? Then these are the uh, session delete view, then your term list view, all the views, all the functions are mentioned here. I know it's a bit tough to just look at the code and understand what does the code mean. So what we'll do is we'll go to the code first, the actual working of the code. Then we'll see how does this look like. So let me run it for you, Python manage.py sorry give me a sec py runs okay run uh, so let's go admin just look at the functionality see how is it the as the view of the of the system because this javascript is used bootstrap is used html is used okay so it looks great, right? Let's log in. Now see the students. So I can add a new student. The current status is active. The registration number, let me put one, two, three. The surname is, let me put mine only. It's female. Other name is Simi. Date of birth is, hmm, and, uh, Let's put a random date of birth. 2008 May 
15. Okay. Current class is 11th. Then date of admission is this. Okay. Parent mobile number is this. Address is given. Others nothing. Passport leave it. Okay. Add new student. So see. Done. This is created. Right. Now. Let's have a look at the members of the staff. There is no staff. You can create your staff. These are certain invoices. A person, the total payable paid, it's there. Then certain results are there, see. Then you can, up, I can update the results. You can delete, I can save, see. Delete a person, he's gone. Then management, I have sessions, terms. See, th these are the sessions. Then these are the terms. I can delete it because I am the admin, I can delete, see. Okay. Then settings also have the school name is Django School, school slogan is a great school, and address is it's in Vilay, India. You can change it also. Okay. So I hope you understood the working of this code. For more interesting project ideas, stay tuned to our channel. Thank you.